Hello everyone, this is a physics class on the topic time. At the end of this topic, you will be able to understand the concept of time, the definition of time, the method used in measurement of time, and the static interpretation of time. Now let's see the definition of time. Time is the indefinite continued progress of events that occur in an irreversible succession from the past through present into the future. There are a few key points I want you to note here. Number one, time is indefinite. Number two, time is irreversible. Number three, time occur from the present into the future. Also, time provides us with a measure of change by putting dates or moments, fixing the duration of events, and specifying which event happened before which other event. That is to say, time helps us to assign date to which an event will occur. Time helps us to set duration of events. Measurement of time. There are two basic instruments used for measuring time. Number one is the clock. A clock is a physical mechanism that counts the ongoing passage of time and is mainly used for the accurate measurement of time less than a day. A calendar, which is another instrument used for measuring time, is a mathematical abstraction used for calculating more extensive period of time. Measurement of time. The SI unit of time is seconds, but there are other units of time which are minutes and hours. Some of the instruments used to measure time are number one, stopwatch, ticker tape timer, number three, hour glass. Time is measured as follows, 60 seconds make one minute, 60 minutes make one hour, 24 hours make one day, 7 days make one week, 4 weeks make one month, 12 months make one year, 10 years make one decade. The next thing we want to consider is static interpretation of time. This is a work clock here and looking at the work clock, you find out that the short hand and the long hand are both on 12. That is to say, the time is 12 o'clock. I hope at the end of this, you have been able to understand the concept of time. You have been able to define or understand what the meaning, what the meaning of time and, and also state the method used in measuring time. And by this time, you would have been able to be able to measure time on your own. Here are some few exercises which you can take and practice. Thank you. Hello everyone. This is